About 500,000 people in the U.S. live with Parkinson's disease, a progressive condition that can take away a person's mobility and independence. But new medical advancements are helping patients regain control. Uh, for this Health Matters, Amanda Henderson talks with a woman who's experiencing those breakthroughs firsthand. The patient who asked to go by the name Susan went through deep brain stimulation surgery a few years ago before she had trouble with driving, cutting vegetables and more. But now she says combined with the help of neurologists at UT Health Houston, she has a new reality while living with Parkinson's. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing well. There's always a smile on Susan's face when she sees UT Health Houston doctor Maya Sheese. Let me just see how well your hands are moving because hands uh -huh. are so important. Yeah. The duo is going through test after test to check on Susan's Parkinson's, a disease she was diagnosed with a decade ago at 41. You said, look, when I was diagnosed, I didn't know what to expect. Yes. I mean, I thought my life was just going to continue to go sort of down slowly um, and I was going to lose function, never regain <clears throat> abilities. But as Susan has learned, never say never. Two years ago, she had deep brain stimulation yeah, surgery. Oh, Dr. Yeah. Sheese explains how the procedure okay. works. She has an electrode, two electrodes in her brain, one on the right side, one on the left side. And she has a little generator on the chest wall that um, we program to create that a little, little electrical interruption of abnormal uh, brain activity. And what would you want people to be able to? to know about the disease. Yes, that you can live very well with Parkinson's disease. You want to say today is a beautiful day in Houston? Today is a beautiful day in Houston. <laughs> if you're wondering just how well, ask Susan. After the surgery, pretty quickly, I was back, you know, getting around my neighborhood and driving, helping my children, my family, being able to make meals. What was it like to gain that independence back? Just after the surgery, I felt like it was a miracle. Dr. Sheese says it's critical to know Parkinson's can develop at any age. And while there's no cure for the disease, early detection and treatment can greatly improve quality of life.